cheese. All right, we have the penguin himself and soldier also in the mix. And this will be Alliance, their first showing in the uh, middle stage. All right, here we go, though. Starting off with the pick and bands. Alliance versus Trident. We have Twisted being banned by Trident. Tubes has been eliminated for Alliance. Dive is open. Dive is open. But the first pick for Alliance is Surf. Trident now with their first pick. We'll go for G-Force. Second pick for Alliance. Is going to be Valley. We have the second pick for Trident. They are thinking about it. They are thinking about it. And it is Tempest. Third map choice for Alliance. Will be. Dive is still open. It is going to be backflip. Dive might be put as the decider. No, it is Trident who picks up Dive as their last pick. And Cosmos will be the randomized map. And this is the map pack. Starting on Surf, going into G-Force, then into Valley, Tempest, Backflip, Dive. And if there is a decider map, it will be a Cosmos. Match is starting. We have had almost six and a half hours of matches so far. And now it is time for Alliance to finally play their first match in the middle stage. Here we go. Mada and Solja against Baywa, Baywak and J Swag. <coughs> Here we go. Starting on Surf. And we do have the player cameras. Solja with the massive overpowered posture. And also Mada with the penguin suit so i could put myself somewhere here but uh i don't know not sure maybe it's too much <clears throat> maybe it's too much here we go though let's focus on the game we have Alliance versus Trident. J Swag with a uh, pretty good start here. Challenging Mada. Oh, a little bit of lag here. Mada in second. It is uh, Biwak with a Sia on his car skin. Not sure if that is a uh, bad manner from trident players or not but the pace right now is in favor of trident who are driving really well outside lines coming through for alliance j swag in first place by in second this might be the ace coming in for trident against alliance but it is mada with a strong showing j swag his car completely in shambles it is gonna be a close battle to the finish line and it will be the draw coming in first here 10208 not the fastest pace but uh the draw happens three thousandths of a second between first and second <coughs> here 
There we go, Dad. Next round. Starting off. Not super strong here. For Soldier. A little bit slow. J Swag once again with a really good start, honestly. Looking super fast. It is very close. Looking much uh, better for Alliance this time around, but they're still driving a little bit slower. Mada in second place. J Swag. I th for a moment I thought he crashed, but he didn't. It is J Swag. Really picking up the pace. Let's go on board with Mada for the identity here. There we go. Oh, Mada crashes. This uh, is not looking good for Alliance. Maybe a little bit lack of warming up, but it looks like Biwak in first. Times are really slow. But it is J Swag in third to secure the victory. I mean, Soldier is laughing. I'm not sure what's funny about this. Oh, we're losing. What is so funny about this? Here we go, though. Okay, a little bit of uh, that teleporting action. But a very wide setup in the first bug slide. <coughs> and it is uh, looking like Mada not with the best start here. Soldier on the other hand now in first place. Biwag and J Swag battling Soldier. Soldier sets up nicely for good exit speed. J Swag still luring behind, lurking behind him. But they don't opt for this outside line and you can see the speed difference. It is Soldier who makes a mistake as well. J Swag through the water section. Baywag in second. Mada moving now in the second place. It is Baywag who respawns 17 times. J Swag in first. And we will have another draw here. Times are a bit underwhelming. Do we need a pop filter? Sorry. All right, here we go. Alliance still one point down. Three, four score line right now. And Alliance not with a good start. Once again, Mada goes in the hole. It's a little bit uh, surprising to see what is happening here. But this is looking like the ace for Trident is coming in. J Swag and Baywack. That's a nice rhyme. But it is Soldier who has the opportunity to deny this ace from happening. Ah, that looks good. J Swag on the other hand, looking to get first. Soldier getting second. And there you go. Mada goes for another respawn. That's a much better time here from J Swag. 101 2. <coughs> that is more like it. But it is two points down for Alliance. There we go. J Swag once again, every single round so far, he has been driving a really good start. There we go. Mada now takes the lead. Baywag in third, battling it out with Mada for that third place here. Goes for a super aggressive inside line. Will have to concede some exit speed, and this is more like it. Soldier and Mada now in a 1 2 position. J Swag is in a battle does go for the inside line entering the identity soldier and mara 
in a one-two position but jswag with a fantastic entrance into the identity moves from third place into first but can jswag hold it together oh it is soldier's car broken down and it is a two thousandths of a second difference here between first and second Victory. and it is track point for trident yeah 5-8 scoreline. A potential ace turning into a victory for Trident. There we go. G-Swag once again with a beautiful start. Oh, but then J-Swag not with a good line through the water. And it is Mada and Soldier who take advantage of this. Putting themselves now in a 1-2 place. J-Swag also struggling later on in the map. And is now even further behind. Leaving only Baywag to do something about this potential ace coming through. It is Mada and Soldier entering the identity together. And they have 0.6 of an advantage. They should just be able to save this nice and cleanly. And the ace for Alliance will mean that the score is now equalized to 8-8. And now both sides with track point. Here we go. The pressure is building up right now. All drivers within 15 hundredths of a second. J Swag leading the way, like we've seen many, many rounds before this one. Both teams are one victory away of winning this map. Uh, right now, it is looking like J Swag is gonna be the warrior that is defending. The, uh, the win here for Alliance, but Mada moves into first place for a split moment. J Swag is fighting very, very strongly. Different lines, different setups. Is Mada able to snipe first place away? J Swag with a very inside line, but the victory comes through for Alliance. And they will get the map win. 1 0 for Alliance. But I will say that did not look super convincing. I'm not gonna lie, that was a bit of a struggle. But the map win is there. Here we go, next one. We are gonna go to G-Force, map pick from Trident. Ooh, close start. Bywag takes a nice liner through the bobsleigh. Mada is also in there. Let's go on board with J-Swag to give us a nice overview. Ooh, Mada and Solja very swift around that corner. 1-2 position right now. Baywag and J-Swag struggling a little bit to keep up with the pace. It's looking good. Mada and Solja still holding first. Is Solja able to snap here? No, he is not. It is, however, Mada who still leads the way. A little bit too bumpy of a trajectory for Soldier out of that bobsleigh. And he could not get the grip. Here we go, though. Mada on his way to win the very first round on G-Force. J-Swag has respawned. And 
One final jump for Mudda. And that is going to be enough. 112.7. Soulja has moved into third place, but J Swag has a lot of speed. It is going to be decided in the ending. Soulja or J Swag. J Swag snipes it with a super low jump. I mean, very, very, very good job from J Swag there to uh, snipe that third place away. Maybe a little bit too safe for Soulja. But we have a 1-1 uh, one, one opener round. Let's see what the next one is going to be. Oh, Mada is doing the same type of jump that Paco was doing in the previous matches. Angling his card just perfect. Mada in first, Biwak in second, Soulja in third. J Swag just lurking behind, waiting for a mistake here. But it's looking good. Mada leads the way. Into the bobsleigh we go. Oof. Looking good. Soulja once again a little bit shaky through this uh, sector. No slides coming through. Mada losing a little bit of speed. I don't think he is able to catch up to Biwak. So he needs a miracle ending here. And that is it. Biwak messes up the transfer down to the down to the bobsleigh. J Swag on the other hand is challenging once again. J Swag with a super low jump. But it is Mada just two hundreds behind. Soldier in third. We get another draw. Great start again. Let's have a look. By wagon second. Here comes the fast, quick turn with the icy tires. It is always lovely to see. But it is Mudda leading. By wag in second. J Swag in third. Soldier just lurking behind a little bit. Let's see if Soldier is finally able to get a better turn here. It's once again a little bit too wonky. Goes for too much exit speed. Also not great exit speed through the dirt here. It is Mada leading. J Swag in second. Baywag in third. It looks like Mada is losing quite a bit of speed here. So J Swag might be able to snipe, but I don't think so. Different approaches in the ending. It is Mada winning the round and another draw. Happening right here. Three, three on the map pick from Trident. Oh, great start from Alliance. Biwag and J Swag maybe need to push it now a little bit, but we have seen Soulja has been struggling a lot on the uh, section after the bobsleigh. So let's see if he is able to get it nice now. Oh, and once again makes the mistake. And it is looking like it will be another draw here. If Mada is able to win it, Soldier has moved by because Baywag has made a mistake. Let's hop on board with uh, J Swag, who gets a lot more speed through this bobsleigh section. Mada with an early landing might be able to do something here. Also jumping quite differently, but it is J Swag who saves the day here for Trident. And it is 4-4 four, four right now. There we go. Next round.
Who is gonna make the first big mistake and then take control of the map? Oh, we have Soldier now finally showing up his uh, his pace, moving into first place. Go on board with Mada, who finds himself now in a battle for third. But Mada's ending section has been pretty damn strong. As we go here again, we do have a nice race happening. Soldier drops a little bit behind, two tenths of a second. Also clips his wheel here. And now Mada needs a monster end as Baywag and J Swag both have more speed going into the identity. Oh, it is looking like Mada is trying something here. Different lines coming through from Mada. He's sending it somehow. He makes it work. And it is going to be Mada into second place with an absolute ridiculous risky line in the bobsleigh. <laughs> I'm not sure if that was intended or, <laughs> or not, but good God, that was, uh, that was something. It was a low jump. However, Trident with the victory. And they are now one point ahead. Oh, J Swag not with a good start at all. Ooh, and this might be a tough round for Trident, but a great one for Alliance. As they now have three tenths of a second lead. But can Soldier finally keep control of his car after the bobsleigh here? Yes, he can. There it is. Top two for Alliance. J Swag is now six tenths behind. Might turn into even more. But Solja struggles a little bit. J Swag will have way more speed. And I don't think Alliance is able to hold on to this ace. But Baywag is respawning. So a victory might be happening here. Unless J Swag with a huge blunder. Let's have a look at Ma. Oh, Mada got the landing bug on the wall. And that is quite unlucky. So we have a draw. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. 6-7. Trident with track point. Trident is able to uh, close out the map here. Ooh! Baywag almost crashing there. But it is a 1v1 battle. Soldier versus J Swag. Let's hop on board. Okay. Slay entry. Oh, and Soldier again clipping his wheel. Definitely not a good performance so far from Soldier. It is, however, J Swag doing a fantastic job. I wonder if Mada is going to go for this insane line again. No, he's not. Looks like. Soldier is also unable to catch up. So it will be J Swag getting first place. The times are not that fast at all here. I will say that we have seen way better performance on all tracks so far, but it is 7 9, and that means that this is the final round on this track. It's either the ace for Alliance or. <coughs> Trident wins the map. Here we go. Oh, J Swag barely making the bobsleigh. And this is looking strong. Uh, Bywag is a little bit too far behind to have the POV here. Let's go on board with Soldier. Can Soldier finally. Get through this bobsleigh unscattered. 
Uh, looks like that is the case, but does not get a good downhill at all. Gets airtime, and that is lights out here. Maybe a little bit of nervousness. Baywag and J Swag are in second and third. And if one of them stays in second, then the map win will go to Trident. Mada will get first place, but the map goes to Trident. 1-1 one, one is the scoreline right now. Yeah, interesting match here. Trident is uh, doing well. Here we go. Next track will be Valley. Map score right now 1 1. Going into the second map pick for Alliance. Let's have a look at the very first round here. Oh, massive mistakes happening for the side of Trident with Baywag already one second behind. We also have half a second for J-Swag and make that even more. This should be an easy ace for Alliance. With Mada and Soldier both having three and a half seconds of an advantage. And the identity can still be very problematic. Ooh! Soldier almost crashing. And that looks pretty damn good. Mada with a super low jump. Mada going super wide. Has to break tap like seven times to not uh, go out of the track. But that is the ace for Alliance starting on a Valley. We are going to the next track. Great start here for Alliance. Three zero. Oof. Mind up. A little bit of a shaky start, but it is G Swag with a mistake again. Soldier leading the way right now. But it is Baywack who is denying the second ace from happening as Mada with a very nice inside line. That's looking quite nice here. It is a battle for that second position. Soldier with a great first jump. Mada with a good entrance into the second one. Could mean another ace here. And it is looking like that is going to be the case as Biwag has to respawn. J Swag has to respawn. And Soldier wins the round here. <coughs> he is warming up. And that is a 6 0 scoreline right now. As we go into the third round, will we have another ace coming through? Ooh, Mada with a big crash, but stays on track. 
And now it's all up to Soldier. Soldier, who uh, has not had the greatest match so far, is now in a position where he needs to do something, but completely mistimes his turn here. And that is not what you want to do. In this situation, the counter ace might be happening here as Mada is also missing the jump. If J Swag and Baywag make this final jump here, they will have it, but there's a respawn. And Soldier has moved into second place to deny the ace from happening. Whoa! Almost could not make the turn here. And there you have it. I think Soulja is using the action key 60 to line up the last jump. And he maybe forgot to turn it off again. I think this is what happened. <laughs> I actually think this is what happened. I think they he uses the action key to line up the last jump. But uh, he forgot to disable it again. <laughs> so his last turn was a little bit... Uh, oof. Here we go. 7-2, track point for Alliance. Oh, Mada with a slow turn here. Does he even have the speed to make this jump? Ooh, 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 barely makes it. The ace for Alliance would mean that they take this map, but it is Mada who completely missed times his jump. Let's go on board with one of the Trident players, J Swag, who is in second place. Solja will secure first place. Wow, what a line in the end as well for Solja. And uh, there we go, the draw comes in. Eight three now. Is looking like Alliance will be taking their second map here. Or can Trident fight back? It's definitely this round looking quite tight, but uh, with J Swag having quite a poor start, it is looking like Alliance will be getting this with a, a victory round. If Mada secures first and Soldier in third. The map will end in this round. Baywack, however, fighting in second place. He knows that he has to push it. Unless Mada makes a mistake here. Let's have a look. Good lineups for Mada and Soldier. Also landing properly. Baywack a little bit off angle, but it is looking like the ace might be coming in actually. No, Baywag with a much tighter line. And it is going to be the victory to claim victory. the map win here. go to the third map which is Tempest map pick from Trident and here we go 
first round. Soldier leads the way, Mada in second. But it is way too hard to call right now. Oof! Some booty touching from uh, Baywag there with the 360. And then you get the gear three. And the gear three is the danger zone on this ice slide because you will slide out. And Soldier and Mada in a 1 2 position. And that is looking mighty fine. One more flip. Mada gets through it. Soldier gets through it. And that is a 1 2. And that is a good match time. That is on pace with the other teams that we have seen play in previous matches. That is a good match round. Ace. 3-0. The ace comes in. <coughs> Next round. Here we go. Not the greatest... I slide, but Soldier keeps the gear, and that is quite important. Oh, what happened here for Biwak? Slowing down so much, maybe a poor landing on the grass. Lost all his speed. Does he get gear four? He does get gear four, so at least he can get through the ice slide. We do have Mada fighting off with J Swag, but J Swag. Is slowly building up a lead. Very inside line there for Mudda. Nice fight. Soldier in third right now. The ending is going to decide everything. Is J Swag able to hold on to that first place? Or will this turn into a round that goes in favor of Alliance? J Swag gets through the identity very, very smoothly. And drops a similar time as... The round prior to this this map is tempest here we go a little bit of a no slide snap here from mudda he's getting fancy with it and also a great start for soldier so the alliance Players are again in a 1-2 position, looking to get a second ace on this track. Very nice first jump. Baywag is now two tenths behind. Also not getting the greatest ice slide here. J Swag has to go for the respawn. And this is looking really nice for Alliance. In a 1-2 position, Soldier losing a bit of time here on the ice slide, but is able to regain it most likely with a... Oof. Very, very tight angle there on the checkpoint. But the ace comes in. Mada and Soldier <coughs> looking good on Tempest. And that's another ace. Putting Alliance in track point there we go will we see another one pretty damn good start for uh three players baywag just a little bit behind now let's go on board with Mudda here. Gets a really nice low jump. Great landing as well. Sets up a little bit wider for a very, very aggressive ice slide. Soldier still in the mix as well, but might be losing a little bit more speed. No, what the hell am I saying? It is Mudda swooping by now with an aggressive inside line. Soldier drops very nicely into that slope. 
And it's gonna be another ace potentially from Soldier and Mudda. It is J-Swag respawning. Baywag is far behind. And we might have another ace. And there it is. Solja and Mada getting another one. 108.59. That is the pace that we like to see. And that is GG on map number four here. The scoreline 3-1. Little bit of a rough start for Alliance, but uh, they are getting into it now. And it's uh, reflecting in the pace as well. Huge lag. There it is. <coughs> Let's have a look if anyone is doing this different approach for the ice. It doesn't look like it. No new line abusers. No new line abusing. But here we go. This is the map that could send Alliance to the next upper bracket round against either robbers or sinners. Whoa. Here we go. Mada not with the greatest start. Also, Solja not with a good start at all. So, this round so far heavily in favor of Trident but Biwag that is a very weird position to respawn and it is looking like J-Swag holds on to first place Biwag with another additional respawn that gives the opportunity for Soldier to move now into the third place But is Jay Swag able to hold on to this first place or is Mada able to snipe it? Jay Swag with a beautiful flip. Mada also with a fantastic flip here. But Jay Swag has the swag and uh, secures first place. One one. Wow, Mada has that <laughs> insane inside line. Server is a little bit laggy. Maybe it's because uh, two players from across the globe are playing. Baywag is currently struggling a lot here. But Jay Swag, on the other hand, looking to get another first place here? Or is Alliance able to close this gap? Mada is going on the offense right now. He's even passing Jay Swag through this techie section. And the ending is gonna decide the outcome of this round. Will it be? Oh, interesting stuff here. Let's move on. Is Mada able to hold on to the first place? It is looking like he gets a beautiful flip. And Soldier has to go for the respawn, which means that we will have another draw. But a good match time for Mada, 107.47. <laughs> and it is 2-2. Two, two. J-Swag, a little bit of a teleporting action. Oh, and Soldier misses the dirt 
break taps. We have seen so many people having struggles with this. Oof. But, uh... Bouncing against the plastic wall here. But it is looking like a beautiful round there for Mudda. Nice flip here as well. But J Swag has been really, really surprising me. I'm not gonna lie. J Swag, what a guy, has been driving some amazing rounds so far. And he is giving Mudda a tough time as we approach the end. Mada currently in first. J Swag does not get maximum boosters. And it will be Mada making his way to the finish in first place. Everyone else finishes as well. Soldier with that early mistake. <coughs> and we have another draw. Uh, Alliance, I would like to go to bat uh, soon. We need to uh, step it up a little bit, guys. We have the draw after draw after draw after draw. Oh, and now it is a Trident player. Slipping up. J Swag also with a huge mistake. And this might be the turnaround point. We have the potential ace happening right now. Three seconds of a gap. And that should be a freebie right here. Mada in first. Soldier in second. And only the end remains. Ooh, that was clean. And they will make it. Mada with a 107.19. That is a fantastic time there. And Soja saving that second place to secure the ace here. There we go. Six three now. Not yet on that match point, but it's getting there. Yo, Mada with a good start. Baywag in second, J Swag in third, Soldier barely making the turn. Oi, yo, 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 and that is big trouble but it's also j swag who respawned was also pushing it a lot and we have now a 1v1 battle between mada and baywag <coughs> but at this rate baywag just needs to make sure to uh stay in second as j swag respawns is Soldier? Soldier is able to move into third. And Mada will be able to get first place. It is also Baywag respawning. Is he getting second time? No, it is Soldier who has moved into second place. It is the ace coming in. Oh, and all the worst possible outcomes are happening for Trident right now. But the greatest are happening for Mudda and Solja as they put themselves now one point away from match point. Here we go. One final round. Potentially. If there is an alliance player in the top two, then it is over. Baywag with the mistake. And that is J Swag also making the mistake. And that is a GG for Alliance. Now, the pace was a little bit slow. I wonder if this was done on purpose or not. I have no idea. But Trident, definitely on the first two maps, man, they were driving really fast. At some point, I got a little bit worried. 
Not gonna lie, I got a little bit worried early on. But in the end... In the end, it is Mada and Soldier winning the match. And there you have it. It was a bit of a rough, rough match. But Alliance wins against Trident. Bit shaky here. Here we go. That is match one done for Alliance. Trident will now move down in the bracket and Alliance stays in the upper bracket. We will move on to the next round. We will move on to the next round and it looks like Robbers has absolutely dismantled Sinners here. Let's have a look. 4-0. And it was 9-10 on Edge. So that's close. 8-12 on Tempest. That's also close. Um, so they ended it off with an ace here. So it was 8-9 and then Robbers aced. So yeah. And then we have Valley. Which was an absolute smoke from Robbers. And Surf. Which was also pretty much one-sided. So Edge and Tempest looks to be uh, like... Looked like a close matchup. But then on Valley and Surf they got... Uh, they got pretty much destroyed. So it is Sinners against Trident. And we have Alliance against Robbers. That is going to happen in 10 minutes. We will have that in 10 minutes. So... We have a small break here. And that means that I can go to the toilet. And it looks like the entirety of Alliance also went to the toilet. Uh, hopefully I joined the correct server. Ah, Alright. Here we go. I'll be right back. Oh, Here we are, here we are. Waiting for the next match. We will uh, have... I mean, if Alliance loses this, there is another match, I think, at... Uh, oh, there is. There is another match at midnight. Come on, Mada and Soldier. Uh, I think they do have to step it up big time, though. I don't know why, but I'm a little bit... Uh, <laughs> I'm a little bit worried for this next match. Is Alliance playing back-to-back? -back? Yeah. And if, they, if we lose this, then it's back-to-back-to-back. -to -back -to -back. Three matches in a row. Anyway, I uh, I am believing. Obviously, I think uh, we have what it th what it takes. Soldier is uh, delaying the uh, the match here, so we'll just uh, wait a little bit longer. Here we go. Pick and ban is starting. <clears throat> Robbers versus Alliance. Dive has been eliminated. We have Surf being eliminated. Interesting because Surf was played last time. I guess they just aren't feeling it. However, Apples is really fast. Uh, and it is picked by Cosmos. Okay, completely, completely different. We do have Valley being picked up from Robbers. So different map picks coming in now from Alliance. Valley was a little bit of a hit or miss for Alliance last match, but uh, backflip was pretty damn good. Here we go, then second map pick for Robbers is going to be Edge. Last and final pick for Alliance will be Tempest. 
I think Tempest angle. They looked really good on Tempest. Or G-Force. Tempest or G-Force, I think. Yup. Yup. Yup, 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 yup. Tempest is picked. G-Force as well. And Twisted is going to be the final one. And that means that Spammy Guy... Is gone. Here we go. I'm going to wish them good luck. There we go. Adding the pressure. Adding to the pressure. All right. Here we go. All right. This is important. Whoever wins this match right here qualifies to the World Championships. And I believe on the top of my head, Solary has qualified. ITB has qualified. And G1 has also qualified. So this match will determine the fourth team that will go to the World Championships. And here we go then. First map. Has been picked by Alliance. And this is it. Solja and Mara up against Epos and Razi. Round one. Fight! Okay. Oh, and Razi is not starting off great here. We have a. Ooh! Oh! Huh? Yeah, what is that? That is crazy. That was kind of wicked. Soja is cooking. Apples is currently in first place. And Mada is trailing just behind. And in this match, Apples is... Is the player to beat from Team Robbers, but it is <laughs> Apples who is playing against himself and makes a huge mistake. And that is a beautiful sight to witness. We will have. Huh? Ah, there we go. We will have Mara and Soldier getting the victory right here. <coughs> 2-1. Soldier not so happy with that. I'm really curious about that line, by the way. I, I mean, it's kind of freaking wicked, not gonna lie. But uh, I'm not sure if it's faster or not. It's definitely cool. It definitely gets, like, plus points on the cool rating. That is for sure. Here we go. Mada with a great start. Apples and Razi getting the lower gear. Soldier is gonna set up for this... Line again. Ah, not so sure about it. It's uh, I mean, it's kind of cool though. But the line is not really it from the looks of it. But it is Mada leading the round right now. Apples in second. Oof. Let's go on board with Apples, who sets up a little bit different here on the plastic turn. Mara leading first place. Soldier currently moving into third. Mara in first. It's a battle, but Soldier also with way more speed going into the identity. Is Soja able to make it happen here? Apples and Razi with a much more aggressive inside line. Soldier maybe with more speed to the finish line. No, that is not going to be the case. And we have a draw. Guys, maybe the line is actually faster if you, like, do it properly. Maybe Soldier has not done it properly yet. So, let's uh, keep the Copium going. <coughs> oh, 
Okay, we have Soldier also opting for this different approach with the outside pillar. Let's have a look now. Yeah, it's a bit undercooked. It's a little bit undercooked. We do need the post-match interview for this explanation. But let's focus on the match here. Mada and Apples are battling it out for first and second. And it's looking like it's going to be a close battle here going into the identity. But this time around, it looks like Apples has the upper hand. Mada maybe with a little bit more speed. No, that's not going to be the case. Close round here. Times could definitely be improved. But we have a draw. <coughs> here we go then. Different lines coming through here with the freewheeling section. Oh, it is Razi who is. Okay, 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 guys, guys, guys. The line works. The line, it's it's looking better. It's looking better. It's looking better. It's looking better. Apples in first place. Oh, Mara now with a touch. And this is not good. Soldier needs to push this first position. But can he do it? Apples is very difficult to defeat. Here we go. Ooh. Very quick no slide from Soldier as we go into the identity. Wow, what an inside line from Soldier. He's trying to send it on the inside. Is it going to be enough just before the finish line? That is a close round. But it will be the victory for Team Robbers. Here we go. 5-6. Alright. Let's go on board with... Uh, ooh, this is ace potential. Okay, okay. Could still be possible. Whoa. The line. The line. The line. Soldier has cooked. Mada almost crashing on the inside. Mada is trying to push for that second place. The ace would be really, really good. There we go. Razi in second. Soldier still in first. Mada getting more speed. Razi with the nose light. And this is a beautiful thing. Because the number six is such an important point for the teams to have. Because it means that if you get a draw, at least you will get track points. But in this case, Alliance with five points and getting the ace here puts Alliance in track point. But Robbers... Not. There we go. The fact that Spam doesn't spectate Soldier all these rounds means that he knows. Yeah, why would I spectate someone that will end up in first place anyway? Alright, here we go. 8-6. Let's have a look. 8-6 coming in. Ooh, but a fantastic start for the robbers. Suck. First place. From behind. Here we go then. Apples and Razi in first and second. Mada trailing in third place. Soja currently sitting on fourth. It is not really great if the ace comes in for robbers here. Razi makes a huge blunder. And a lot of pressure now on to Apples for securing this first place and getting the draw out of it. 
That does mean, though, that the next round will be really important. Ooh, Apples with a pre-drift. Let's go on board with Razi. So we just have the overview now of all the players. Mudo with a super inside line. Soldier on the aggression. But it is going to be a close battle there. Wow. It was almost a map win for Alliance. But here we go. 9-7. This will be the final round. Robbers needs the ace. Anything else will mean that Alliance wins the first map and their map pick. Here it is. Mada not with the greatest first two turns. But every single player makes it. And also everyone makes the upper gear. So Razi is doing a different star jump. Yeah. So it is uh, pretty damn close here. Mada versus Apples for that first place. Soldier in third. Razi in last place right now. Apples with a super inside line. I think he will lose quite a bit of speed through this because it was freewheel. And it is Alliance now on the hunt for that first map win. Mada and Soja moving into first and second right now. Driving together. Only one of them needs to be in the top two to secure this map win. Here we go. Soja with that early no slide. It is actually really damn good. Not gonna lie, I like the fact that Soldier has popped some different lines compared to the standard. I like it. And there we go. A nice round to close it out. Alliance here winning it with 11-8. I kind of like the fanciness of uh, Soldier. He has figured out some own lines that he likes to do. That's pretty cool. And now we go to the next track. Which will be the first map pick for robbers, and that is Val E. All right. There we go. First round on Valley. Wow, extremely wide setups here from uh, the players. Also slightly different approaches in this uh, start downhill. We can see Razi and Apples taking the lead now. Razi with a great start. Apples now driving as a secondary driver. A little bit behind. we go Rossi still holding on let's go stay on board with Mudda here for third place Oof. great speed almost colliding with the wall as well Rossi is onto something here very very good round for Rossi but it is Mudda and Solja in second and third what about Apples Apples is landing ultra early maybe to catch up Razi has to go for the respawn and the ace is coming in for Alliance. What a beautiful time to be alive. The ace. ace. Worst time to get an ad? No, just wait until it's 9-9 nine, nine, and then I pop a 6 minute ad in your face. Now, that would be epic. Here we go. 3-0 start, though, for Alliance. Oof. Good start now for Soldier. Also, Razi and Apples. I mean, they are driving. A car with four wheels as well. And the same engine. <coughs> Apples sets up a little bit different. Mada now fighting from fourth position. Really close. And it's all going to be depending on the ending jumps here. Let's go on board with Apples. Who sets up really nice. The, the flatter your car is on landing, the more speed you get out of it as well. 
on board with Solja. Solja goes for the craziest jump, but way too far. And that will be the counter ace immediately from Team Robbers. Here we go then. Next up. Three, three. Oof. Razi not with the greatest start here. Still manages to keep uh, the pace up to the best of his abilities. Actually, I'll take that back. Razi in deep trouble. <coughs> it is a really good opportunity now for Mada and Solja to get another potential ace or at least a victory out of this. With Razi being four and a half seconds behind, Epos needs an insane identity. And if there's someone that can do it, it is definitely Epos. As he is moving through the first jump. Soldier and Mara still with the one-two. This is what you like to see. Not the greatest landing here for Epos, I think. A little bit bouncy, but has the inside approach. Is it able to hold on to the finish line? No, it's not. And that is another ace. Six three four alliance on the map pick from robbers. But we saw what happened last time there was an ace. <clears throat> robbers immediately Saki Saki boom replied with the ace of themselves and it is looking like that might be the case again here Mada and Soja not with the greatest start so Mada basically needs to go for an all in right now Whoa, what a jump here from Mada challenging Razi almost for the second position right now and Razi collides with the wall he does get an axel penalty doing that and Epos is out. Epos is out. Epos, Epos, Epos is out. And Mara in first place. Razi is out. Razi is out. And we have another Asu. Hey! There we go. 9 3 right now for Alliance. <coughs> Official cast after eight hours of watch. But yeah, this is what you get, guys. I've been talking for eight hours. This is what you get now. <clears throat> Here we go, though. Nine three. Robbers. Not really living up to their name right now. As it's uh, more like givers in this case. With Mada in uh, second place. And if there is just one player from Alliance in the top two, this map will go to Alliance for a 2-0 scoreline right now. Oof, and that is a beautiful jump here from Mada. Razi also, fantastic first jump. But can he keep it? It is looking like Mada in a little bit of trouble here. Mada keeps second place, but just barely he hangs on to it. And map two goes to Alliance. <coughs> Here we go. Nine three. 
next map is going to be good old backflip All right, let's have a gander. Mada drove some, uh, <coughs> sorry, drove some very fast times in the previous uh, match on this particular map. Whoa! What an inside line there from Mada as well. Apples and Razi, however, in second and third. Ooh, Soulja with a tremendous amount of speed going through this section. Is challenging Razi for third place. Here we go. First backflip. Oppa. Mada in first. Apples in second. Soulja setting up really wide. Does he have enough speed here? I mean, enough to uh, make another backflip, but the backflip happened at the wrong section of the track. Here we go, Epos versus Mada for the ending. It looks like Mada collects a little bit more booster and with one final jump. Oh! Yeah, Epos still makes it in the finish. And Soldier doesn't. <coughs> oh, I'm losing my voice. <coughs> All right. Here we go. One, one. Soldier not super comfortable on the uh, start turnaround. The one who is, though, is Mudda. And he is absolutely blasting it. Oh, Epos and Razi low speed. It looks like Soldier is closing the gap to them. Or not. Ah, it is looking quite tight. Nice flip here from Solja. Definitely getting more speed through this section. But it is Apples and Razi who are securing that second and third place for the draw. That is potentially happening. Solja should just go for a full all-in send here with Mada leading. It is looking quite nice. Here we go. The flip comes through. Everyone seems to make it. Mada with a lot of speed as well. Mada needs to steer to the right. And he gets a nice flip. 107.05 for Mada. There you have it. Another draw. But a fantastic time here for Mada. Mada, 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 Mada. Razi and Apples now leading the round. Oh, Mada crashes. And this might be a massive opportunity for robbers. Can they hold on to the 1 2? Or is Soldier able to uh, deny them the ace? It is looking pretty damn good for robbers. But Soldier is not giving up. He is definitely closing in, as we can see. <clears throat> the gap from 7 tenths now is 7 tenths. Interesting. One final backflip here. Very early jump here. Apples is losing a lot of momentum. But it holds on. And a good round here from Team Robbers. 107.2 winning time is very good.
Can Alliance answer this? Or not? Solja? That is not it. But Razi? Oof. Also struggling. So we have a 1v1 now. Apples versus Mana in the top. Uh, ooh, this might be massive. Wait. Soulja? Not really closing in. But if Apples makes one small mistake now, Apples will move down to third place. Let's go on board with Mada. I should not have done that. 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 What is happening? What is happening? Apples looking to get the round win here. Or is Soldier maybe able to snipe? No. But it is going to be a draw. It is going to be a draw. But I will take the blame for that. Here we go. 3-6. And this is once again the number 6. It is such an important point to have. Because the round after could potentially mean track point for your team. <clears throat> so if Alliance manages to get the ace here, that would be the best possible outcome, of course. But it's not easy to do that at all. As Solja moves into third place, it is a battle up front between Mada and Epos. Man, I love this flip. I love how it just works. Let's have a look at Solja. Does Solja have enough speed? Yes, he does. It's looking like <clears throat> a victory might be happening. Looks like it will be a draw potential here with Mada in first. How much speed is he getting in the end? 106.96 for Mada. <laughs> Holy. Uh, Solja needs to step it up here because, like I said... Number seven. And that means track point. Oh, Razi with a massive mistake. That is a high pressure scenario now for Epos. Because he needs to stay in the top two here. And Solja is leading. This is something we have not seen a lot of times on backflip. But is Mada able to push and put pressure on Apples in this round? Oh, Soldier with a very bad flip. Unable to control his car. And it's looking like we will see another draw coming in. Was unable to uh, stop the rotation of his car there. Right, let's have a look. Mada versus Apples. It looks like Apples will have it. Mada with a little bit more speed, though. Oof. That final backflip gives you so much speed. And we have another draw. It is Robbers now looking very good to win this map here. Either the ace or the victory means that uh, they claim this map. Here we go. Mada now with a pretty mudded start. Oof. Barely makes the transition there with the reactor boost. And it is looking like this round might be the final one on backflip. Unless mistakes happen on the robbers lineup. And Solja moves into first. He is pushing it. Like a madman right now. There's only one solution for this match. And that is first place. Apples and Razi. 
they definitely do feel the heat. Can they secure the identity here? Razi cannot. Apples with low speed. Soldier moves into first place. This is might be the ultimate snipe here. But a bad flip. It is Razi moving into last place even. I think if Soldier went for the backflip, he would have had it there. I'm not sure. We do have the 69. Here we go. The ace is required. Oh, there is no way we see this happen live. Wait, what is also happening here? Yeah, nice. And uh, that is going to be the map. Apples on a victory lap. Let's see what kind of time Apples is able to uh, drive here. Oof. Ah, he's risking it a little bit. Oh my god. This might be a really good time. Also does not go for the backflip. 107.15. Very respectable match time. But that does mean that Robbers will get map number three. And uh, the scoreline now 2-1. <coughs> Here we go. We'll have another round coming up. And we will go to Edge. This is uh, the first time we see Alliance play this map. So, going to be uh, a surprise here. Who picked Edge? That is Robbers. Here we go then. First round. Mada uh, takes the lead. Slows down a bit because he gets his wheel clipped. This jump, we have seen so many people make mistakes. And it looks like Soldier does not land quite smoothly up the... Up the ramp. It is Apples and Razi. In a 1-2, they're looking for the ace to kick off this map. But mistakes can happen to anyone. But can they happen to Apples and Razi right now? It is looking like they are driving really fast in this opener round on edge. Wow, that is a good round. 104-9 by both of them. That is a very impressive round from Team Robbers. Here we go then. Next round. Oh, a little bit shaky there for Apples. Manages to uh, get around Mada with the crash. That is not going to be nice here. Does have enough speed to get up the ramp. But is Solja now able to win the round? Let's have a look at uh, the player behind him, which is Raz E. We have Apples with a massive mistake. And Apples is so slow. He loses four seconds with that uphill. And Mada now moves into third. 
Let's have a look. Is Soldier able to get first here for the victory? Soldier still holding on to first. Razi still trailing right behind in second. Just the ending to go. Soldier will secure first place. 104 8. That is a nice time. And we will have Mada in third. And that will be a victory for Alliance. So that ace <clears throat> slowly getting removed here. Two more victories for Alliance and that entire ace advantage is gone. Whoa. Apples maximizing his turns so well. That's also very risky driving here as you can see. Setting up for different trajectories. Mada not getting the greatest transition there onto the ramp block. Razi conceding second place towards uh, to Soldier. Mada has to opt for the respawn. So now very important for Soldier to stay put in this second place. Maybe even move into first if Apples makes a mistake. Mada is stuck in a respawn. By the looks of it, Soldier still in second. Soldier needs to get this second place. Soldier struggling a little bit. Razi is getting closer, but that is fine. Soldier gets second. Mada has finally made the respawn. And there you go. Three six. Roberts finding themselves with three points advantage. Here we go. Nice start for Team Alliance right now, as both Apples and Razi are in third and fourth. Everybody makes the ramp jump. And now we have a fight. Oof. Apple's really pushing it. Maybe a little bit too much. Holy. Also does not get a lot of speed there for the backwards part. But it's just enough. I don't think Soldier has enough speed. Soldier barely makes the transition. Where is Razi? Razi is a little bit further behind. It is going to be Apple's putting his car in first place for Team Robbers. Oh, but Mada makes the mistake. Razi with a lot more speed. And Robbers looking to get the ace. And they will do so. 104-6. Coming in for Epos is a really good match time. What an end by Razi as well. Robbers looking to tie up the score here. Track point now, 3-9. <clears throat> Double ace is required to tie up the score for Alliance. And that is not happening. And that will be the GG here, most likely. For Team Robbers as Soldier with a slightly different line here. But I do believe that Apples and Razi will both be driving extra safe right now. Well, Apples still going uh, a little bit more risky. But it is Soja who also makes a mistake. And that is going to be GG on this map. <coughs> Edge goes the way. Of Team Robbers. And this map was all over the place. Razi with a really good time here. 104 winning time on uh, every single round there. So that is uh, that is good.
So here we go. Moving on to the next track. Which will be Tempest. Tempest. Pretty sick track. So let's see what is going to happen here. We have seen some insane pace on this from a lot of teams. We do have a tactical from Mudda. So 2-2 two, two is the scoreline right now between Alliance and Team Robbers. Here we go. First round on Tempest. Wow. Apples. So close to the corner. That was ridiculous. But a great start here for Alliance. Madan Soja and 1 2. Oof. Minimizing the airtime here. That was uh, an interesting line. Mada and Soja looking strong. I think Apples is uh, out of this one. And that leaves Razi with a huge task now at hand. He has to get first place to deny this ace from Alliance. And with two jumps remaining, can he do that? Solja and Mada just right on his heels. Apples with another respawn. Mada with a little bit of a wonky last jump. But it is Razi who shows up. And a 108.73 winning time here to deny the ace. Which is uh, a really good job from Razi. And a little bit upsetting for Alliance. Here we go. Next round. Starting off with a draw. Apples and Razi again finding themselves already a little bit behind. Right out of the gates. First flip through the rings. And it's getting closer and closer. The ice light can decide quite a bit. We saw an early mistake from Apples previously. Now it is Razi who makes the mistake. Mada and Solja now in a different situation because they are leading the round and Apples needs to fight from that third place. Oof. That was a very fancy turnaround there. But can he clutch up just like Razi did? It is looking like Mada is holding first place. Apples with a really nice jump but it is Solja who moves into, into first place and what a round! 108.59, 108.62, and a 63 or 64, whatever the math is. That was an incredible round. But the ace comes through for Alliance. Holy macaroni. And that puts Alliance now in a 4-1 map score. Into the next round we go. There is no time to have a small break and rest. It is round after round after round after round. And it's looking like Mada and Solja are waking up. While it's almost midnight. Whereas I am pretty much falling asleep. <laughs> they are waking up. Apples not with a good exit speed here. Out of the ice slide and that... Leaves Mada and Soldier in a very comfy position right now. 
to win another round here with the ace. No, it is Soldier who misses the checkpoint. A little bit too enthusiastic. And that is now a lot of pressure on Mada, who needs to get the last flip, which he does. And that is a first place for Mada, 108.62. Soldier is going for a massive jump, but uh, unfortunately here, the outcome could have been the ace, but a little bit of a misjudgment from Soldier turns this potential ace into a draw. 5-2 right now. Alliance still looking very good on Tempest. If we look at the score, obviously. Oh, it is Razi who gets off to a bad start. A 2v1 battle. Now up front here with Soldier leading. Apples in second. Mada in third. Very different flips here. You can see Soldier's line is definitely more of a inside line. And whereas Mada and Apples went for a a larger jump i would say the outcome pretty much identical it's just whatever players prefer at this point apples trying to deny this alliance lineup did soldier get the checkpoint yes he did that was really really close it is soldier in first place apples tries for an insane flip but it is Soldier who messes up. Where is Razi? Razi even snipes the place away. And this round turns into the victory from Robbers. Soldier not happy with that one. And that was a 6 4 now. Great winning times on Tempest so far. We now have Epos. A little bit behind here. That is already 35 hundreds of a disadvantage that Epos himself is finding. Mada got gear 4. So the ice slide is safe. Razi, however, looking to do what he did in round number 2 on Tempest. Deny the Alliance lineup. <coughs> Stay on board with Soldier. Oof. Apples with a very, very risky line. I mean, Apples is in last. Apples with the respawn. And it is going to be a battle between Mada and Razi for that first place. Is Razi able to clutch up? It looks like he is. Soldier has to go for the respawn himself. And Apples moves into third place for another victory. And Soldier is struggling here. Victory. That is two mistakes now from Soldier, but Alliance will have track point here. 7 6. Robbers on the other hand, still missing one point. Wait, what just happened? I think Razi might have forgotten the map or something. I have no idea. Maybe he, he, he forgot the map. Like a brain lag could happen. I mean, I've done it a couple times as well. <coughs> but we do have Apples denying the potential track point here. For the side of robbers. It is Mada and Soldier. In one and two, but look at Apple's his strategy here. Whoa, it is so insane. He is like maximizing, super risky to get the line. Razi is also fighting back strong. Is Soldier able to get the end finally here? It looks like he will, but he is jumping really far. Is Razi able to catch up? No, but Apple's secures first place for the draw. And now we have both sides with track point. 
Alliance on 8, Robbers on 7. Alliance needs the victory, Robbers needs the ace. Here we go, Soldier not with the greatest start. We'll have to fight from last place. Oof, Razi with a very interesting line. Manages to hold on to, uh, to dear life there. Soja gets gear four just barely before the ice. Let's go on board with Razi. He finds himself in last place. And we do know that Apples has this insane turnaround here. Where he barely connects the checkpoint. Oh, everyone is doing it. Mada holds on to first. Soja losing a little bit of momentum. Razi with a very aggressive inside line. Is Robbers going to go for the ace? Mada finds himself in first place. Soja in second. This could be it. If Soja manages to stay in third place. And there you go. The map win. What a round as well. What a final round. Alliance fought hard for this one. And that is 10-8 scoreline. And Alliance now three maps up. Robbers with two maps for themselves. And we will go to the final map pick of Robbers. Here we go. This is it. Pressure is building up. The winner of this match moves on to the World Championships. So it is quite a big deal. Here we go. First round on G-Force. We've seen some insane matches on this track. Honestly, I've been enjoying this map a lot. Here we go through the first bobsleigh here. We have this insane like ice zoop flip flick, whatever you want to call it with the icy tires on the dirt. It's like a very fancy strategy. But it is Apples against Mada for that first place. Oof, and Razi is out. Soldier has been struggling quite a bit with this turnaround. But this time around, it is looking quite nice for him. Mada holds on to first place. Apples trailing behind in second place. Soldier not with the greatest exit speed here. But the battle is happening up top. Mada in first. Apples in second. Apples with a little bit more speed. But the landing in the second bobsleigh isn't the greatest. And it is looking like Mada will secure first place. Apples tries to go for a very low jump and he actually snipes it away. What a time and what an effort from Apples with that super inside line. Low jumping as well. And this victory for Alliance turns into a draw right now. Very good stuff here from Apples. And that should be a warning sign for Alliance. As the second round is on its way, Soldier a little bit slower. But he is still close behind Razi. We do have Apples with a really good start so far. Let's stay on board. With Soldier. Oh, it is Mada who slips up. And now all pressure onto Soldier. He needs to cook. But can he cook? Gets quite good speed, but uh, needs some riskier lines here in the identity section. Jumps really high. He's still right behind Razi. It's looking like the ace might come in for Team Robbers. With Solja not able to put the scar past Razi. And that was a close round though. Great race. Robbers securing the ace right here. 4-1 scoreline now for Robbers. 
And this is also their final map pick. There we go. Razi. A little bit of a wonky start. Still hangs on. Let's have a look. But uh, now. <clears throat> Completely different uh, showing compared to previous round where he made the mistake. Can he hold on to this first position? And Soldier in second would be uh, a very nice thing to happen. But it is Soldier who goes a little bit too enthusiastic into this bobsleigh. It is Apples also moving into first place. So Soldier and Mada in a bit of trouble here. Mada with insane speed though. Is Mada doing the same thing that Apples did to him in that first round? Let's have a look here. Mada in first. It is looking like that is going to be the case. And if Razi and Apples stay here, that will be the draw coming in with a nice first place for Mada. Soldier. His bobsleigh in the middle, the, the sharp one, is uh, causing a lot of troubles. Still, Robbers, three points up. Thanks to that ace in the second round. Oh, and that is Razi with a massive mistake. Does he have enough speed for this jump? No, he does not. And this might be the round where Alliance needs to strike. And they need to strike hard. Apples is definitely difficult to defeat, though. Soldier is the closest. What about the bobsleigh line? And it's again causing a lot of troubles for Soldier. And by the looks of it, this will be a draw outcome. I don't think Apples is going to throw this away. As he has two turns left. Let's have a look. That's a good one. Soldier and Mada make it. Apples will secure first place. 112.8. Doesn't have to go faster. But we do have too many mistakes from Soldier in that uh, middle bobsleigh section. There we go. Three, six. And this is looking like a good start. But Soldier, not with the greatest bobsleigh here. Now it is uh, up to Mura to defend this first position. Apples and Razi are in the good positions to uh, secure the draw if need be. Apples is going on the offense though. Ooh, and that is Razi making a mistake. Soja will take that third place away. But we do have Apples versus Mada going into the identity. We have seen this a couple rounds now. Where Apples is go. Oh, oh, we have the, the different Mada line. The different Mada line is coming into play. Is it going to be enough? He is going for it. And he does it. And he does it. The different meta line. For the win here. That is what you're talking about. And he secures first place. There we go. 5-7 now. Mada is giving Alliance... The hope back and it may have caused some damage here to the robbers lineup as it is apples and razi oh razi with a massive mistake you have apples though lurking in the third position he is ready to pounce if someone makes a mistake mada in first Oof. what a transfer 
Oh, Mara with a huge mistake now. And this is all up to Soldier. Apples slowing down a little bit. Razi with a, with a respawn. If Soldier managed to snipe this first place away, that would be really, really good. Has a lot more speed compared to Apples. Let's go on board with Apples. The final jump. We have seen Apples do a very, very aggressive low jump. And he's going for it once more. He is catching up, but it's not enough this time. And the victory comes in for Alliance. And that means the scoreline now. 7-8. Match point for Alliance. Potentially one round away from qualifying for the World Championships. Or is Robbers going to take it? And we go to the Decider map. Here we go. Alliance with the ace means they win this map and they win the match. It is looking like the round is turning into a draw. But here we go, the first critical part of the track. The bobsleigh. And it's looking like everyone is making it. Razi a little bit slower. Mada, is he gonna do it again? Is he gonna do it again? Is he gonna do it again? Soldier has way more speed. Soldier with way more speed. Oh, what a battle up top between Mada and Apples. If Mada gets first here, but it's so close, Apples. With seven thousands of a second. Holy. We have eight, nine scoreline. Alliance needs the victory or the ace. Robbers. Basically anything else. Eight, nine. Here we go. Very, very high pressure scenario right here. Mada takes the lead. Soldier has dropped behind slightly. Needs to step it up because a draw means that robbers will win. Mada looking to secure that first place. Razi is out. Razi is out. Mada needs to get first place. But it is Apples who is giving him a hell of a job. I think Mada will go for the line. It is the only way here. He has to do it. Yep. 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 Come on. Apples with a super inside line. Oh, 100 of a second. 10-10, we go overtime. Holy moly. The times not so fast, but the, the round extremely close. 10-10 overtime. Heartbeat. 180 beats per minute. This is it. 10-10 overtime for Alliance, a spot in the World Championships. For robbers to move on to the cider map. The first bobsleigh part is coming in. Very, very critical. Razi made the mistake before. And now it's Soldier who makes the mistake. And Mada also with the mistake. Ooh, and this is not looking good. Mada needs. An insane identity. It truly is all or nothing here. For Mada. He is trying. He gets a lot of speed. But it might just be too late. And Epos secures. Wow, with a very good match time as well. 112 49. Ah. <sighs>
and we're gonna go to a decider map on Twisted. What a match, though. What a match. Here we go. Twisted. <laughs> My god. Ah. <sighs> Here we go. 3-3. Three, three. This is going to be the final map of this match. And we're live. Who still has it in them to perform at a peak level? After six maps have been played, Razi with a really good start. Mada and Soldier will opt for a speed slide by the looks of it. Let's go on board with... Oh, big jumps here coming in from both Razi and Epos. Quite surprising to see. Razi, however, leading the round. Mada in second. Apples not with the greatest turn here. And it's looking like we might have a draw potential. Razi in first. Mada trailing behind in second. Sets up a little bit deeper on the slide. It is Razi still in first. Let's have a look behind here. Soldier seems to be securing third place. And the first round will be a draw here with a nice time from Razi, I think. 103.96. That's really that's really good. That is a really good match time here from Razi. One one. Ooh, great start now for Soldier and Mada. Wow, they have that different line there. Keeping the lead. It seems like they do go for a little bit of a jump to get into this slide. Pretty much like... I think they're getting a little bit of airtime to guarantee that they will get the slide. Razi, I mean, he is cooking another round here. Apples, once again... A little bit uh, worse in that turn. Also, Razi now making a mistake. And this is a huge opportunity for Soldier and Mada to get the ace. Get three points ahead. And it's looking like Apples is giving it his best attempt. But is his best attempt enough to deny the ace? So far, it is looking good. But Mada maybe with more speed to the finish line. <laughs> wow. Five thousandths of a second. Alliance gains one point of an advantage. Next round. Oh, did Apples crash? No, he didn't. Here we go, though. Razi, man, he is delivering. Razi is cooking. Oh, <laughs> but turns the heat a little bit too hot. Burns his stir fry. And uh, we have now Razi falling behind. It is Epos. Now having to deal with two Alliance members. Going into the identity. Soldier and Mada looking strong here. Around the twisties they go. But can they get it twisted? Mada with a huge mistake. Soldier not keeping first is a huge blunder. Oh, and the score gets tied up. 4-4. Four, four. Man, I cannot handle this. I will be honest. 3-3 three, three in maps. 4-4 four, four in map score. Here we go. Oh, great start for Apples. 
Mada is a little bit behind. Tries to gain a little bit of more speed with his speed drift. But is it gonna pay off here? Razi once again with that big jump. Actually now losing a lot of time with that. But it is Apples who is uh, looking strong in this one. 103 potential for sure. But Razi is also now challenging Mada for that third place. Razi with a very early drift. Oh, and Apples with a massive mistake. Let's get the ace. Soldier in first. Mada now moving into second place. Battling for second with Razi. But Razi with a fantastic end. Mada with a little bit more speed. Yes. And it is the ace coming in for Alliance. And they will be into match point right now. 7-4. One more ace. And Alliance qualifies to the World Championships. Here we go. Oh! Soldier. Slight mistake. But it is looking like robbers might have the counter ace up their sleeves here. Oof, what a round. The pressure. Apples leads. Soldier in second. Razi in third. But it's switching around so often. Different setups here for the U-turn. Apples still in first. Soldier needs to stay in second. Unless Mada is able to clutch up a beautiful identity here. Oh, Razi also on the offense. Everyone is giving it their best shot. Soldier. Stays in first. Razi with a huge ending. Razi with the crash. And the draw comes in. But what a time from Apples. 103.95. And here we go. 8-5. A victory or ace means that Alliance qualifies to the World Championships. Very, very important round right here. Rossi with the initial mistake. And this might be it. This might be it. Soldier in first. Mada in second. Can they keep it cool? Apples is trying his best. Mada slows down a little bit. Oof, Apples is maximizing the speed here. But then loses the gear. And Mada might be able to take advantage of this. But overslides. The pressure might be getting to all of these players. Is Soldier able to secure first place? That is what we are waiting for now. Sets up a little bit wider. Apples is trying to catch up, but that is not happening. If Mada gets the ending, it is over. And Alliance qualifies for the World Championships. GG. Well played. Victory. Holy moly. <coughs> what the hell is this match? I am absolutely fried. Holy. Wow. That was insane. That was insane. We're gonna have a short interview coming up here not gonna make it too long but uh i do need to set up the uh overlay here real quick so let me uh do that quickly while we wait here uh on a momento <clears throat> okay Suck. I need to uh, put myself here somewhere. Yeah. And then I need to add uh, Mada. Holy. Let me join them already. Let me preemptively join them. Man, man, man. Hello, hello, hello. 
Hey! Yep. What the hell was that? That I'm, was so scuffed, but we got there in the end. I'm setting up the cameras real quick, and then we, uh... Oh my god. It doesn't matter who we play, it's always close. Jesus we always Christ. like to put a gun to the wire. <laughs> Jesus oh. Christ. My that was something. Rate. Wow. <laughs> is at an all-time high. Can I just say huge shout out to Soldier for stepping up in map 7 when that mattered most because I was crumbling. I was trying so hard to just stay away from walls. I could barely focus. Man, man, man. Yeah. There is one question that I have though, Soldier. Yeah. Do you know what I'm going to ask? Um, there's a few questions, I think. We're going to ask comes to my mind. question. Ask away. What <laughs> was that bug slide line on Cosmos? Oh yeah, it's it's actually faster by uh, point oh five point oh. point one. Okay. In the first three rounds, I failed it yeah. because I press brake while pressing right, and it slows down your car. Ah. It's very uh, okay. The, the time frame is very tight. Okay, okay. And I failed it three times, okay. and then. I just kept doing it and it worked after a while. Yeah, we saw that, we saw that. I also liked that you uh, had a slightly different approach after the water bounce near the end. You cancelled your slide super early and it actually yeah. gave you so much more speed going into the identity. Uh, did you specifically find these lines yourself or did you uh, uh, spot the, it The slide cancel, the, the water bounce was with the help of murder. Okay. But the slide cancel reminds me of uh, pool. Okay, okay. Nice, nice, nice. And, well, if we stick to lines, Mada. I was slide cancelling and yeah. I guess it would give me a few uh, thousands or hundreds. Okay, so, yeah. okay. I think you're uh, you're aware of what I'm going to ask right now. Yeah. <laughs> and that is the line in that bobsleigh end. What the hell was that? I saw you do it in the first match against Trident. And I was like, what is Mada doing? Oh, the one oh, where that's, I like, took the yeah. cow? Yeah. It's safe point two <laughs> if you get it really good, and it was it's worth going for in the close uh, rounds. Man, especially to deny an ace. <laughs> yeah, 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 that was insane, insane. So that's like more of like, you know, a last chance to uh, see if you can snipe the first place. I would imagine. Well, even just deny an ace, which I did against Trident, yes. I think. Or yeah. Man, man, man. How do yeah, you? I tried uh, to do the same as well, but. I only got it like once out of 100, so I was like, I cannot do this. Okay, okay. I'm, I mean, I'm already struggling with this midsection. Yeah, as you yeah. saw. We, you, the, yeah. the the 180 bobsleigh was uh, really problematic for you. Uh, that is definitely something that I mean, I, I assume you're gonna hammer that down in the next coming weeks to uh, you know get more consistent at it. But uh, there was like quite a bit of struggles there. Uh, did you feel nerves, or you the lineup just wasn't there? Um. So in practice, I got it about 75%, I would say. Okay. So it is a mix of nerves and just focusing on the other things on the track mm. and just forgetting my lineup it also happens. And once you fail it and you fail it another time, you get a bit shaky and you start questioning if it's this the right thing you're doing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I think Mudda told me just just break in the bob after to avoid clipping it. But True. It didn't really work for me. Let's see. Yeah. So how did you'll get there eventually? Yeah. So how how did you guys <laughs> feel? Like uh, it's it's been some weeks since uh, you guys have played a match. Uh, tell me about that first one. Trident looked really good on serve. Like what the J Swag was like pushing you guys to to an absolute limit there. Uh, did you did you kind of feel like a little bit of nervous or what uh, what helped it happened? Talk us oh. through it. I don't know about Soldier, but I was super nervous on surf. Like, I was just, yeah. I had moments where I would accidentally turn and hit a wall. Like, I didn't <laughs> want to turn, but my thumb was so shaky, I just turned. Oh my god, it was it was a disaster first few rounds, but yeah. They, they were quick there, we didn't expect it. Yep. I thought they would crash more. Okay, okay. And now? Yeah, same feelings. Um, mm -hmm. I was very nervous. I also had FPS problems. Okay. Um, then I kept my FPS and it was fixed for the bigger parts okay nice, but yeah nice. definitely uh nurse as you could saw, uh, see uh, yeah, as a person yeah. the pace was definitely slower than what we've seen throughout the entire day today and i was like okay oh, yeah. maybe they still need to warm up a little bit or it could actually be nerves because you guys haven't been playing a match in like weeks now um but uh yeah coming through this this second match then robbers 
I mean, they definitely seemed to be the, the most difficult team to beat in this group. Now, we did beat them. How do you think uh, the match went overall? Oh, it was a fantastic match. Like, early on, it was a bit of a bit of a stomp, like, from both sides on each map. But yep. the last three maps, it was a fantastic contest. It was so much fun. And what about you, yeah. Soldier? Yeah, we had some uh, discussions in the pick and dump, but I think it went almost perfect from our sides. So okay. we were very happy with uh, how that went. Um, Coming into uh, backflip, oh. I know Meta is really consistent there, and normally I had the same kind of lineups, but uh, mm -hmm. I just kept swinging at these small parts. This okay. one flip and on the map, and you're just out, basically. So, yeah. Uh, Makes yeah, sense. and Edge, they were very good on, on Edge. Oof, deserved. Yeah. Well deserved. The pace there uh, was pretty damn high, like 104 winning time every single round. That is, yeah, that, that, is that really was good. quick. I've got I've got a lot of issues on edge to fix. So, like the last couple of days, uh, uh, soldiers giving me some helpful things, but I need more time to iron it out. So yeah, I'm I'm, just not match ready on that yeah, yet. But I hopefully mean, by the land, you will have plenty of time now to uh, prepare for the world championships. Congratulations, you guys have made it. So uh, like huge relief, I can imagine, uh, to not play. I mean tomorrow again against uh, some teams. Um, and now, yeah, like full force, positive vibes all the way through to the to the World Championships. And uh, who knows where the Alliance ship is going to strand. Uh, it has uh, been a long day here as well. So I'm not going to hold you guys any longer. Uh, if you go to bed now, then uh, I will wish you guys a very nice sleep. And uh, as Mada will say, that is going to be batch time. There it is. Batch. <laughs> One more question, though. Did the Penguin suit... Yeah give you some uh extra pace uh yes definitely okay nice well <laughs> then we know what what you have to wear next time for the match yeah exactly All right, guys, have a good one amazing job everyone is happy everyone was cheering on and uh i wish you a good night sleep well all right yeah, thanks. Day, Same to you. thanks for supporting us and see you at montelia nice have a good one